Hi there crafters, it's Louise with you today on behalf of Kitaholic Kits and I'm playing around with the January 2019 kit which is full of so many pretty goodies but I'm really struggling to uh, get my creative juices flowing. So what I'm going to do is try and focus on a color palette. So in this case, I'm sort of leaning towards that um, neutral, so the black and white teamed with the orange. So I started with this solid patterned background paper, but um, as I'm sort of fiddling around, I'm kind of thinking, no, it's too dark, it's too much pattern. I really wanted to simplify it a little bit. So I look through the elements that I've got and I'm sort of thinking to myself okay what am I going to do am I going to add some white gesso to the background do I want to tear these papers do I want to cut them do I need a cut file these are sort of all things that are going through my head as I'm working with the elements in the collection so as I think about it a little bit more I decide that I'm going to cut that paper and use white cardstock in the background. It's sort of my go-to um, when I'm struggling and not, um, not particularly inventive so nothing too challenging or mixed media but what I wanted to do was also be quite honest with you about this layout and the difficulties that I had because all you see when you watch the video is the parts of it that actually make it onto the video um, so the techniques or the way to use a particular product but in this case I wanted to show you how I actually worked through the process so I sort of thought of creating a circle around around that um, paper circle that I had there with those wood veneer pieces but as I'm laying it out I'm sort of going oh, I'm still not particularly happy with this it looks okay I'm trying to use as many elements from this kit because I think if I end up keeping them in my stash I'm probably not likely to use them down the track so by using them now when they're fresh in my mind and they're all new I know that they're getting um, added to pages and I don't have to worry about them sitting in my stash so one of the things for me this month is to try and create with as much out of this kit as I can. So with that line of thinking, um, I decided that I was going to focus on those wood veneer pieces. Now, this is certainly not my um, own idea. I didn't come up with the wood veneer pieces down the center of the page. It was a video that I saw online and I know lots of crafters have done it before me, but it's it's certainly a really good way to use up um, lots of wood veneer pieces when you've got plenty of them floating around. So off camera I have gone ahead and stitched down um, around that circle and I wanted to have this little love um, wood veneer piece stand out a little bit more from the background. So I'm just covering it with some embossing powder. I haven't actually pulled out my embossing powders for a while. So when I wanted it to stand out, again, I thought to myself, what am I going to do? I could cover it with acrylic paint. Um, I could just use adhesive and glitter. I could use foil, uh, lots of different things. But I decided that um, the heat embossing was going to help um, enhance the page as opposed to um, you know detracting from the page and you can see my little helper there he's pointing to the photo of himself giving me a bit of a hand asking what I'm doing um, so I'm using also the uh, Nuvo watercolor pencils that came with the mixed media kit and again these are something that I've sort of struggled to use with the kit I haven't really been able to um, find a way to use them on a layout that I've actually felt comfortable with so I off camera had had a little play around to see how they reacted with water um, how they actually looked on a page and then I used the orange um, colored one because I had that pop of orange so I wanted to really highlight the actual word love as the title and then fill in that space around with those wood veneer pieces 
And you can see um, over the years I've collected quite a bit of a wood veneer stash and you know drop me a comment if you've got a, a wood veneer stash at home and certainly share a photo on the Facebook page too. We'd love to see how you store your wood veneers and, and how many you've actually got in your stash because I'm sure that as scrapbookers we all tend to get quite a collection of them over the years and this is um, why I'm trying to use them. So not only am I stash busting here um, but I'm using elements out of the January kit as well. Now off camera I am going to go ahead and glue that all down. I'm not going to make you watch that. Um, the little smile and the uh, piece of twine down the bottom there I actually used my hot glue gun just so that it would immediately fix to the page and I didn't have to wait for the tacky glue to set. Now these little um, black hearts, again, flicking through what I had available in the kit, I sort of am trying to get um, as much on a page without actually having it be too overwhelming. So the little black hearts I think fit in quite well and I'm going to use some of the exclusive cuts again in the, the darker colours just to um, help enhance the photo and the layout. So as much as this page hasn't been um, particularly technically challenging, um, it was one I started at the beginning of the month as a design team project and then as the month progressed it just got pushed to the side while I started something else and eventually um, I sort of came back to it and decided that I, I needed to make sure that it was heading in the right direction and that I ended up with a layout I was happy with. So I thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Of course, comments are always welcome. Make sure you have subscribed to myself and of course, check out Kidaholic Kits.